Hey, remember I mentioned in the tech that I'm focusing on learning in this year and I wanted to improve my Python skills. So I built a CLI too, and this one is for ChatGPT. So basically you can interact with ChatGPT through your CLI and I built it in Python. So I wanted to show you what I created. And of course you'll be seeing some improvements as I build this project, but I already shipped the package so you can install this with the pip command. So let's let's dive into my code editor here. I have my VS code here and I wanted to quickly show you a demo of how it works. So basically you say chat GPT underscore CLI, hit enter. It says ask chat GPT and I have a robot icon, but I'm not sure how it, well the icons are supported across different terminal apps so maybe i'll remove this or find a way to it can be supported on multiple apps but it says ask chat gpt let's say what is open ai and it gives you an answer saying open ai is an artificial intelligence research laboratory founded in 2015 with the mission of leading the way in the development of human level artificial intelligence this is basically the same response that you might have got in the actual chat GPT open AI's portal. Uh, this is just in command line. So now let's dive into how I built it. I used few libraries to help me build a CLI tool. One of them is click. And then all of the configuration files are kind of in the setup.py, which is used to, you know, wrap all of my code and make it available as a CLI tool or a pip package basically. There are a few details about my CLI tool. So what the name is, what version currently I'm building, uh, the author details, what license I'm using. So it's an MIT license. So feel free to contribute uh, to this project as it's hosted on GitHub and is open source. And then a description. So it's a CLI wrapper for ChatGPT used OpenAI's API. So I used OpenAI's API to get the responses from ChatGPT. And then some other details about, you know, uh, the GitHub repo, the link, and the Python uh, version. Then you have the click. So the library that I used to write this CLI to. So it really helps with arguments and stuff, right? So, you know, remember how you have Python space dash dash version and it tells you the version for of Python. Similarly, if I plan to include any arguments in the future, it will be easy for me. So right now you can do chat GPT underscore CLI dash help and it tells you, you know, what this tool basically is. So it's a CLI wrapper for chat GPT in Python. Now moving on to the actual code, it's pretty easy. So, you know, I use the OpenAI's library you can see on the top I am importing it right and this is a comment and I'll go over what functionality I'm building here but moving on it looks for environment variable called OpenAI API key uses that to authenticate into your you know OpenAI's account and then uh, it takes input uh, from the user which is referred to as chat GPT underscore question or sort for question, whatever we ask is stored in this variable here. And then there's a response um, which uses OpenAI's completion uh, API. And you can read more about that API on their official documentation, which I'll link down below. And uses uh, the model text DaVinci 003. The prompt was the variable that we created here called chat GPT question. Then it just gives us a response back, whatever chat GPT re responds, right? So we are using OpenAI's API here to interact with chat GPT. Right now, as I said, I want to do, I'll go over this functionality later. So what I'm trying is right now you need to have an environment variable uh, before you run uh, the command line tool. So before running chat GPT underscore CLI, you need to have an environment variable with the name open AI underscore API underscore key and a valid API key from open AI. Otherwise the command line tool doesn't work. It just errors out. What I'm building here on top is a logic. What it does is it looks for the 
open AI API key environment variable. And if that is not present, it'll ask the user to input the API key right after you run chat GPT underscore CLI. So, you know, just catching those extra errors. Um, so if the API key doesn't exist as an environment variable, you can still uh, input it after running the command. So yeah, that was the project that I built this weekend and all of the code is available on GitHub. If you are excited to try this out, I'll share the link here of the Python package. You can install it. And right now I have only uploaded this to the test pypi.org. So you can do pip install dash i https and then this is the URL. And then you can use the CLI tool locally. And let me know how you find it out. And the GitHub link for this will be in the description and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.